Good morning, it is the 31st of May and it is day 25 on the van build. What we are going to achieve hopefully is the installation and the beautifying of the Kiravan's door store. Yeah, it goes on the inside of the sliding door and it creates pockets instead of just having a flat uh, panel that goes on top. So, we bought this off of Kiravan's for around £119, I believe, including that. We're going to cover it with our grey carpet on the outside, but then we wanted a little bit of a... Je ne sais quoi. Yeah. It's just very bland looking. Carpet will make it look a bit softer, make it fit in with the rest of the van. And also, we have this map fabric that we bought really for the first cupboard that we built. This will be the curtain that runs across the bottom over the wheel arch. Um, this cost us... 20 quid? 16 quid? Yeah, this no. cost about 16 pounds. And all it is, is a repeat of the world map basically and we're going to use this probably just on the insides just to make it look a little bit different it's also very hard wearing as it is like the oil cloth that you buy to put on them um, tables to protect the table from like the kids painting and stuff like that so it's got it's going to be durable uh, if it gets wet Washproof, so I think it's a very good choice for what this is going to be used for. So I think my first job is to place the matte fabric on the inside of the door store. So in a previous video we roll now, uh, we have removed some of the insulation uh, that we put in a while ago, which we didn't realise this was a thing when we did that, yeah. and we also have to move a few cords and cables. Um, just to make sure it sits as flush as it possibly can and not cause us a headache in the future. Mm -hmm. So, I think that's about it. We're kind of prepped and ready to go. So here we go, Caravan's door store. <laughs> mm. So, I have now covered the inside pockets with the matte fabric. Uh, we used the heavy duty adhesive spray that we used on the carpet to do this. It was a tricky job. I'm going to say it was a good 7 on the nuts and bolts rating. Uh, trying to get the corners looking nice, but we realised we're going to actually be putting things into it so it doesn't need to be perfect as always. So, the next task is covering the grey plastic that's left with the uh, cardboard, cardboard carpet, but we've got to be careful because we want to be able to cut these pockets out. So. What are we doing now then? It's time to put the screen tip. Are you looking at the lens or the screen? Screen. Lens. Lens. Now it's time to put the cardboard on the front of the door store. <laughs> Although, I think we might Can use we carpet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're going to use carpet, carpet for this bit. Thin carpet. We had a little bit left over from the uh, the ply panels of the van, so it's all going to be in keeping. Um, yeah, again, I'm <laughs> Dilling it right now. We have just got to figure out a way of um, preserving the map pattern that Meg's just put in, um, while being able to liberally apply our adhesive spray. Um, there's a few odd contours and weird shapes that we've got to be aware of, but with Omega's experience now in carpeting, I think we'll be alright, won't we? Absolutely going to be fine. Right, let's do it.
Next job is to poke the holes through the carpet, through the plastic where they exist already, just so that when we pop the screws in, that it goes through nicely and that it's as flush as it can possibly be. Yeah, the rain has stopped play for a few minutes, so we've taken taken refuge with the dog. Um, this is the worst weather we've had so far, I think. It's so nice this morning. Yeah, it's been a funny day. It's been like forcing it. So yeah, we're just gonna have to sit this one out for a few minutes. Frightful. <laughs> it's not very good at the moment. So we've decided to carry on inside the van because we're nearly there. We're just popping through the last few remaining holes and we will try fit it into the side door. As we said earlier, we've removed the sound ending insulation as best we can and the cables that are for the locks. Um, but we're almost ready to fit, I think. Yep. So the door stall is sitting in place and we are just about to pop in the poppers. So the door stall is currently in place and we've got the little poppers. They're semi in but obviously not popped in all the way yet. We're just getting them all in position so we know what we're doing. I think this is going to take a bit of force to get them right in flush because we've added you know, a couple of, couple of mil or so of carpet but so far so good, everything seems a pretty good fit so a bit of brute force and hopefully it'll be nice and secure Door stores in! On the how-to video that Kira Vans provides it doesn't say use a hammer you might have to but be gentle, watch the metal work and I also put my feet up against these and pushed like this, birthing position like this, which also helps, especially if there's two of you, yeah, to make a good job of it. I think it's a two-man job. Um, I was probably a little trickier because we have added a bit of depth with the carpet, but I mean it's gone on and it feels sturdy enough as it is at the moment. That's the least sturdiest part, but that's the shelf. The shelf. Yeah. There aren't popping holes in there, were there? There's so, no option to pop it in. Now we have to make sure that the door still operates, locks and opens, and it doesn't interfere with the wheel arch. But it looks alright. I'm quite happy with it. I think, and because we can't tuck it round, I think there's going to be times where it's going to come away. We're going to have to glue it. But that's a risky take. We didn't want the, the, the plastic on show. We we're really keen on the plastic. Really. Yeah. Yeah, this is opening the door. First time. Oh, oh we've got the clamps on. Yeah, I just realised <laughs> that. With the door store, it comes with plenty of instructions and do's and don'ts. It's not very load bearing and you've got to be very careful that nothing overhangs the extremities of the cupboards because it will scratch your van. Uh, it comes with a very um, long list of do's and don'ts, as I've said. And uh, we're happy with it. It's just going to be for little bits and pieces. These are just things that we've kind of thought, just props. <laughs> Bit of an act, because it, it's not ready at all yet. But just options for what it can store, really. <laughs> 